Hi. In this Inkscape tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to create shiny text sitting on a reflective surface, like is shown here. So to start, I'm going to move this out of the way to give myself a working area. And I'm going to select the text tool and I'm going to create some text here. A, B, C. And then I'm going to use the selection tool and then resize this text. Make it nice and large here. And then I'm going to select the color red to change its color. And the next thing I'm going to do is select the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a large rectangle which is going to be the background for the text. And then I'm going to change its color to black. And If you've noticed this black area here now has covered the text up so I need to move this rectangle to the bottom so that the text will be on top and show through. So I do that by going up to the object menu and I select lower to bottom and now we can see the text. The next thing I'm going to do is using the selection tool I'm going to select the text, I'm going to right click with the mouse button and I'm going to select duplicate. And so this makes an exact duplicate of the text sitting directly on top of the text. So I can show you that by moving this to the side and you can see that I now have two copies of the text. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back into place and I'm going to temporarily change the color of this text to gray. And then I'm going to choose the circle tool and I'm going to create an oval shape. And I'm going to change the color of that too so that we can distinguish it from the text and from the background. And using the selection tool I can position this um, and I think I like it right there and then I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard while I left click on the text and what that allows me to do is select this text the gray copy that's sitting on the top without deselecting the green oval here and then I'm going to go up to the path menu and I'm going to select intersection. And what that does is anywhere that that green oval intersected the gray text, that's left behind and anything that didn't intersect was cut away. So I'm left with this, this gray area here. Um, and then I'm going to change it to the color of white. Now I'm going to select my gradient tool. And what the gradient tool allows me to do is to set the amount of transparency that this white section has so that some of the text below will show through. So I use the left mouse button and I drag this up and then I'm going to take the the bottom of it here and I'm going to pull it down just a little bit and so by varying the transparency of this section and letting some of the red show through, I get a shiny effect as if a light was shining on the text. I'm going to go back here to the selection tool. I'm going to left mouse click on the red text. So I want to hold down the shift key and select this area here so that I can have both areas selected. Then I'm going to right click and select duplicate. So then now I have a duplicate of this uh, total shiny area as well as the red text. And I can show you that by moving that down to the side. So let me go ahead and put this back. Okay, now I'm going to go up to the object menu and I'm going to select flip vertical and that'll take that text and just turn it upside down and then I'm going to grab it and I'm going to move it down and if you notice I leave a little space between the bottom of the text and now the 
top of this text here. And so now this is going to serve as the basic reflection. Um, then I'm going to choose the rectangle tool again. And I'm going to create a rectangle that completely covers this text on the bottom. I'm going to go use the selection tool and position it a little bit better here. And then I'm going to change the color of this rectangle to black. And then I'm going to select the gradient tool again. And I'm going to change the transparency of this black rectangle that I have. And I do that by pressing the left mouse button and dragging this up. It's about there. And now I'm going to take the, the bottom of it and drag it up some because I only want the text to be partially reflective because that seems to give it a better effect. It's about right there. And there you have it. Shiny text sitting on a reflective surface. Thank you for watching.